Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in this episode we're looking at whether Blender is a good concept art tool. I'll be talking about what is concept art and how it's done, giving a small demonstration and telling you about the course I recently came across, which you can see the final results on screen now. So what is concept art? Well, a concept artist can work for games or film and they try to capture the feel and vibe of a production through pictures. They're one of the first phases of production and used to kind of thrash out ideas. The concept artist will often have several rough drafts or thumbnails that they send back and forth to art directors or program directors and this is where the ideas are solidified. The final images are then drawn up for 3D modelers, set builders or environmental artists to use when making their assets. You can approach concept art in many different ways. There's traditional painting, digital painting, photo bashing, or even 3D modeling. So can you use Blender in this pipeline? Well, yes, you can. Now, before I give you my brief 30 minute attempt at some basic concept art, I'll first tell you about a great course from an industry professional using Blender for concept art. This course is currently on sale and it's using an older version of Blender, but that's what makes it particularly good. Because it's using an older version of Blender, that's why it's on sale. But the course isn't really about how to use the tools, although it gives you a good insight. It's more about sharing a professional's approach to concept art and the workflows using Blender and Photoshop. So it's full of time lapses going through the creation process, roughly eight hours worth of content. So the fact that it's an older version of Blender, I don't think matters too much. So it's important to understand that this course is not for beginners to learn tools, but much more about the creative process. For someone looking to get into concept art, it's perfect to get to grips with the workflow. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to grasp and learning the tools is actually secondary. So there is an affiliated link in the description. You will be supporting me if you buy through that link. I was really impressed with the course and looked through all the eight hours worth. And although I feel like I know most of these techniques, I thought it was great to have a professional's point of view, showing how they do things and reaffirming the things that I'm doing. So what if you just want to have a tinker and a play? Well, I'll show you my simple workflow here. So concept art has been the realm of 2D artists for a long time, and recently people have started to use 3D programs as a concept art tool. And this can be done in several ways. The one I've seen the most is using 3D as a base for lighting and shapes, and then doing a paint over in Photoshop or any other image editing program. So here I am producing a simple piece of concept art. I start with downloading a character and putting him into position and I'll put the links in the description. I actually downloaded a character from Sketchfab and then rigged it myself. I just used the simple Rigify add-on. I then took a little bit of time putting him into position. I then did a really basic environment out of cubes. After that, I downloaded a car from BlendSwap and put that into the scene. I really had no idea what I was doing until I started just plonking things into the scene. After doing that, I positioned the camera and thought a bit about the lighting. I then took a render at this point and went into Photoshop. You don't have to use Photoshop, things like the GIMP will work fine. I started by doing a really simplistic paint over, just getting the idea of where light might be shining out of windows of shops and things. And what I should have done is actually rendered the character on a separate layer. That way it would have been much easier to mask certain things out, but I was just doing a pretty rushed job just to try it out. It's a relatively straightforward process, but it obviously takes a lot of time and practice and effort to make things look really good. You can see I'm using some photo bashing techniques as well where I just grab images off the internet, place them in and blend them with different blend modes. It adds a bit of vibrancy to the scene and it was just really good fun and it certainly is great fun and well worth trying. So that's a very simple guide to how Blender combined with an image editing program can be used to create concept art pieces. So thanks for watching and I hope that helps.